Welcome to a short video summary of the Panasonic TX58DX700. You can read the full review from a link in the description, or by pressing the info button top right of the screen. This is an Ultra HD 4K TV capable of high dynamic range video, aka HDR, and this is Panasonic's entry level HDR TV, and this 58 inch model will set you back around £1200. The DX700 sits on two adjustable feet that can be moved out to the sides if your unit has the width. The design is minimalist with a narrow silver trim, while connections can be hidden under a panel to cut down on unsightly wires. That doesn't apply if you're running a wired network connection, however. Inputs include two HDMI 2.0A ports that are HDCP 2.2 compliant, as well as another HDMI 1.4 port. There are also three USB ports, a headphone jack, and a Freeview HD capable aerial connection, as well as legacy video and audio connections, a Toslink digital audio out, and an Ethernet port. The DX700 does also have built-in Wi-Fi, as well as Bluetooth. The remote control is nothing fancy, but it gets the job done, and it has large, easy-to-use buttons, including a dedicated one for Netflix. Panasonic has stuck the Firefox operating system to deliver the smart TV platform, and it's very easy to use, and contains virtually all the key video services, including 4K streaming from Netflix, YouTube, and Amazon. The menu system is quite sprawling, but it does contain all the controls we need for an accurate calibration. The out-of-box grayscale was very decent, with just a hint too much blue and green energy in the mix. But, using the 2 and 10 point white balance controls, we could iron this out to perfection, bar an unmanageable spike of blue at 10% stim. The Rec. 709 colour gamut tracked extremely well out of the box, but again, a bit of fine tuning with the colour management controls saw a further improvement. In terms of tracking against the new Rec. 2020 colour space, the DX700 wasn't quite so impressive, and it provides around 68% coverage of the entire gamut. As you would expect from the test results, the Panasonic DX700 provided images that were highly believable, and contrast performance is also very good, provided you sit dead centre. Viewing angles are not a strong point of this TV. With film and overseas TV content, the DX700 produced a very fine viewing experience indeed, but there are stuttering issues with UK broadcast content and some DVDs that prevent it receiving an AV Forums award. You can read more reviews at avforums.com forward slash reviews. You can also see more videos at avforums.com forward slash videos. Why not follow us on Twitter? And you could also like our Facebook page. Thanks for watching.